seriously. Wow, it was wild for sure. I was used to imagining that time period. It was like super sanitized, not that wild, you know, like uh, people dancing Charleston and that's it. So it was pretty cool to learn and to immerse myself in like the wild, wild west, you know. It was crazy, it was wild, it was like literally the pioneers. Nobody knew what they were doing, actually. They were building a city, building an industry and building a craft, a cinema, literally movies, and a, a form of art. That was a time like uh, every day they invent something new how to move the camera. I mean, if you think that it took them like 10 years to start doing close-ups, <laughs> you know? Like they were building, building like the grammatics of the movie making. And I really liked that idea because I, I felt they were like pirates. Damien Chassel, the director, he gave me like a beautiful book full of interviews about like all these people, these workers during the silent era and the 30s. And no one had like a, like a movie career. There wasn't like a college or a way to study. There was literally like people walking on the street and somebody yelling like, hey, you want to work? You want a job? Now you're the AD, you know? And that's a true story. Like that happens to Manuel, but also it's a true story. Like uh, Griffith AD, like the first famous AD in the world. He was literally walking down the street and then somebody say like, hey, you want to a job? So yeah, I like that idea, like the pioneers. Um, I think the blockhouse in the end of the movie, I mean, the first part is, is, it was wild, you know, with the elephant and everything. Of course, the scene in the desert with the snake, but the last part of the movie, when Manny is going to, to like this kind of Dante's Inferno, going floor by floor, Demian didn't tell me like the kind of back, background artists uh, that he wanted in that scene. So the first time we were like doing like the, the first shots, going down and down and down on that like crazy, wild, uh, very creepy situation. I was a little shocked, you know, like we have like a lot of crazy <laughs> uh, background situations in that scene. Well, chase a chicken, you know, like chasing the chicken was very wild. And, and, and the first takes we were using like a puppet, you know, which was pretty easy. You know, it's a puppet, you know, it's not uh, live. But then they switch it to, they change it to the actual chicken and nobody told me, nobody told me. So like something very weird that I've been asking in a set, it was like, Diego, you have to make the chicken angry. You know, because the, the, the actual chicken was like so chill, like such a, like a method actor, you know, like, <laughs> and I was like, how Damian, how? I don't want a pita like, you know, like coming for me because I'm like slapping the chicken or something like that. So no, no, I'm not going to handle with that. <laughs> with Damian, I think his flexibility because he's very specific, specific sometimes. He even sometimes direct my face with his hands, you know, like Diego, I want you to do this like open your eyes like this or smile like this, I will, or, or open your mouth just a little more. No, okay, perfect, like so specific. But at the same time, he let you play. He let us improvise a lot. Or when he had what he needs, he always asked you like, you wanna try something? Let's try now your version or just do something, have fun. You know, like this is a free take, let's do a free take. So I love that because it makes you feel like very, very secure when, when a director knows what he needs, but at the same time, allowed you to, to, to put like something of you into the performance or into the script sometimes even, no, with improvisations. Uh, I think that something beautiful about Babylon is that everything is real. The 800 extras that chased Manuel uh, in his first day of, uh, on a movie set, there were 800 extras, you know, like for real. Uh, all the explosions are for real, like everything is real, except the elephant. Uh, and I'm kind of glad because can you imagine like, putting an elephant during two weeks in that kind of party, I think eh, <laughs> that's not that cool. But uh, but it was cool. I think that you have to ask Linus, the, the DP, because he was the one shooting, you know, the scene when everything is falling <laughs> to the camera. <laughs> so, yeah.